Hello everyone, this is Josh from PowerCamber.com and in this video I'll be walking you through how to use, uh, how to create a new scan on the new version of PowerCamper that was just released. So it's a little bit different um, than the old version of PowerCamper um, and how you go about creating the scans is also a little bit different so I want to create a video to kind of walk you through how to go about best um, using the scan form to get the best uh, search request that you possibly can. So to get started, the very first step is that you're going to um, select your campground or however many campgrounds that you want. Um, the good thing about Power Camper is that we do not limit the amount of campgrounds that you can add to your search. So you can feel free to add as many campgrounds as you want to this. Um, obviously we would suggest splitting them up into different scans just so that um, you kind of keep a little, things a little bit more organized. But if you wanted to, you can um, add in as many campgrounds as you want into each scan. Um, once you have some campgrounds added that you like, um, you can then uncheck the certain facilities or keep them all checked if you like. Um, if I know that I'm not going for group camping, I can uncheck some of these group ones. It doesn't matter. Um, but if you have a specific area of the campground that you wanted to uh, look for campsites in, this is where you can make that uh, selection. Once you're happy with the campgrounds as well as the facilities that you've selected, you can move on to the next step. And in this step, you're, we're going to be selecting the dates. Now here you have two options. You have the exact check-in date option and flexible dates option. So first I'm going to cover the exact check-in date. This is pretty straightforward. Basically this comes down to you selecting the date that you want to actually check into the campground. So let's say I want to check in on um, June 30th. Um, once we have that selected we have a couple options down here. The first one is do you want to check in on the exact date or plus or minus um, a couple of days. So let me just go out another um, Let's say I want to go for July 7th, but I um, am flexible a little bit. So let's say I want to do check in for plus or minus two days. That means that we will look for any cancellations that occur on the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th or 9th um, for that weekend. Right. So if you kept it exact dates, we would only look for campgrounds where you could check in on July 7th specifically. But if you have a little more flexibility, you could do plus or minus one day, two days, three days or even plus or minus seven days if you have like a really uh, flexible um, schedule. So we'll keep it on exact dates for now. <clears throat> and, the and the next one is minimum nights. This is pretty straightforward. This is how many nights you want the reservation to be for. So if you keep it at one night, we'll find you any um, cancellations that occur on July 7th for at least one night. Um, if you want to change it, you can change it two nights all the way up to seven nights uh, stay for a reservation. So that's the exact check-in date. Um, the next one we're going to go to is called flexible dates. So this is a little bit more of a broad search and works really, really well if you have um, a more flexible schedule for certain months or certain times of the, of the year. This is the way that you should really go about um, selecting your dates. So the first option is um, selecting, selecting your check-in day. So you have three options here. You can, you can check in on any day of the week. You can check in on the weekends only, which means that you're going to be checking in on Friday or Saturday or you can select check-in on any weekday. So a couple a couple explanations here. Any day basically will give you the broadest search possible. We'll look Monday through Sunday for cancellations. The weekend obviously is gonna be the most strict but is also the most desired, checking in on either Friday or Saturday. And the weekdays if you have the utmost flexibility and you want to get as many um, reservations or cancellations as possible, going for the weekday is a good bet because um, you're kind of beating out a lot of competition. So for this exam um, example, I'm going to select uh, any day and then in any day, the next one is you're going to be selecting uh, what month or month that you want to uh, search for. So let's say that my entire July and August is completely free. Um, I go and select July and August um, for check-in dates and then I would select the minimum nights. Let's say I want at least two nights. So what this does right here is it says we'll look for any um, cancellations that occur in July or August on any day, but they have to have at least a two night minimum stay in here. So this is obviously a very broad search, but this will get you a lot of opportunities out there to kind of get reservations and get, get booked at these campgrounds. So we'll keep it on this flexible dates and go to the next step. Um, here, pretty straightforward as well. Select your uh, group size. I'll leave it at two. If you have a tent, you can leave this checked. If you have an RV or trailer camper, you can uh, select this and just put in your the length of your camper, 18 feet. We can move on to the next step. So everything looks good. We can go on to the review scan page. So in here, just a quick breakdown of what we just selected on the last page before we activate it. So just a quick recap, there will be scanning for any RV sites that accommodate 18 plus feet. 
um, sites between July 1st through August 31st with at least a two minute, two night stay um, at the campgrounds Doheny State Beach and South Carlsbad. Uh, this is the scan name, so what I'm gonna do here is actually rename it. This allows me to keep all my scans organized and understand uh, what cancellations I'm getting them for, so we can do um, July, Aug, um, search. Okay, so now that is named, and the last step is just activate the scan. This will just take a second, scan created. Okay, so here we go. We now are on the page of the scan. The scan is fully created. We can now sit back and wait for the scanner to go out and find these cancellations for us. Um, and we will email and text you uh, whenever we find a cancellation that meets this criteria. Um, so I will get into what we can do on this page a little bit later in a different video, but that should wrap up this video of how to create a scan on the new Power Camper. Really hope you enjoy this. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.